Hello and welcome to Stitch Max Demonstration Part 5. Earlier, we saw some satin fill features, and today we will see some more advanced features. We draw an object, it can be either satin fill or line fill. There is an option of on-the-fly arrow rotation given. Select one boundary of the object and you will see the objects in a long circle. You can add or subtract the number of objects by pressing plus or minus. Here, we take six objects. Now, you have a complete object with set and fill with multi-angle. The object remains single, which makes it easier to make changes in their properties. We will see another example of when you want to color blend in the existing designs. Adjust the stitch spacing. Overlapping percentage to minus 35 and percentage random factor to 60. One side of the fill is with roughness. This is the color shading. Now, if we want other side color shading, for the duplicate of the same object, we select Random Side to option. The color shading has been perfectly applied. This is the Color Blend option, which can also be used for multiple objects. For example, we draw another object and give the effects of overlapping percentage as minus 30 and percentage random factor 60. Then we give the same effect as before by selecting side to option. Now, if we draw an object and want to create a hole in between, there is an option for that. You draw the desired size of the hole. Select all the objects and click Ctrl plus W. This will give the hollow effect. You can resize and reshape the objects. This gives a perfect hollow object. Next, we will see Auto Split feature. If you draw an object with set and fill and enable the Auto Splitting feature. Later, if you right click on the object and select Add Needle Stop Over, any line that you draw now will become the needle stop over line. You can add multiple such lines.
you get the needle drop wherever you want and you can reshape the line as per your desire this is the needle stop over feature you can use this feature in various ways such as we draw the lines on the objects with selecting the feature followed by selecting needle drop over from the properties now if you select all the objects press control plus w and remove auto split option you will get a perfect object with needle stop over lines the same thing can be even done in a hollow object you can create a hollow object the same way as before or select the option of add hole by right clicking then you just have to apply the needle stop over effect next we see the arrangement skills present in the software make a baseline and arrange any object based on that for example here we make a star using a circle and place it on the baseline point selected Now using the given a place on line feature you can arrange multiple objects along the drawn reference line If you think there is any overlap and wish to increase the distance between the object stitch length can be adjusted from the properties then we repeat the same process and effect is obtained there are different features given in the place on line option similar to that we use in motif we make a line and then a lift design with set in fill If you now follow the same process then you will get the objects arranged on the line they won't be grouped as in motif but remain individual Other than this there is a mirror alternative motif provided in place on line option This is same as the one in motif Here again they are individual and not grouped There is also an option of mirror alternative motif at same point if you want to mirror the object on the same point along with it if you want to gradually reduce the size you can change the motif gradient and gradient threshold select the objects and apply the feature to see the effects these are the arrangement options using which 
you can arrange any object. Now, we will focus on the punching methods in the next demonstration video. Thank you and stay tuned for our next demonstration.